Oh, great. Oh, that's not good. So I finally gave myself a few days off. Uh, I was popping to the unit to change the wheels on these from these 19s to some standard 18s that I've just uh, acquired. I thought I'll just pop into the bank on the way, you know, do an errand and then I get back and I've got a flat tire. So perfect opportunity to show you what to do with the factory fitted kit. Obviously we need to go into the boot. Here is a spare tire. This up there, this up there. So we should have a locking wheel key. That's, that's the correct one, so that's a good start. In here we've got the puller for uh, the, the caps if it's got them on. And then we've got a lovely bar, which, I mean, it does the job, but it's not great. And then we've got what I can only describe as a suicide jack. And believe me, if I had any other choice, I would not be using this, okay? But needs must. So the first thing I did, because uh, I wasn't parked here originally, I was parked on a slope. So I've moved onto flatter ground because yeah, especially with these, I wasn't gonna risk it falling off and doing further damage. So first things first, we're gonna need to crack off the wheel bolts luckily these have been off very recently for me so these are just at normal strength but when they've been on for a while they can get see so if that's if they are too tight just do the old stand on it trick but these are nice and loose and we're only cracking these off at this point This one's a bit tighter. Make it easy for yourself. Whee! So now that they're cracked off, we need to jack it up. So let's have a look where that needs to be done. So here we've got a nice thick bit of pinch weld and there's a little dimple there and that indicates where the jack needs to go. And it's got the same on the front. The dimple's just there at the front, so that's the bit pinch weld that we use and this is only suitable for getting one wheel off the ground that's it before we start i'm going to wind this out to the correct height to start off with and that's about right so that's going to secure secure itself nicely onto the sill there this bit is... so i like to go from sill down keep my hands away from the ground, keep my fingers away from scraping. And there we go. So we're just gonna do this literally until the wheel is just off the ground. So we've got to bear in mind that because the tire's flat, we're gonna to need to go a bit higher than just clearing it so that the new wheel can go on easily as well. I really hate these. And the reason I hate them is because they can collapse very easily. So never work under the vehicle on one of these. So I've got the wheel off the ground. That's as high as I'm going to go. Yeah, I mean, you can see how much that's moving. That is horrible. Spin these out. flat as a pancake we need to get the spare out now what you'll usually have as well is a plastic bag in here and that is designed to put the full size wheel inside that plastic bag so that you can rest it in the boot and not get anything dirty and we need to get these out of the way get this all the way out of the way like that 
and then out she comes. And this is going to need a little bit of air, so I'm going to pop to the purchase station, but it'll do the job. Oh. Morning. And then, if you're not feeling strong, I'll show you this. I never use it, but I'll show it to you. You could use this guide. That's what it's for. Screw it into one of the bolt holes. Like so. And that will allow you to line the wheel up easily. Like so. And then we can just put the bolts in. And we do these in a star pattern. We don't go too tight, we just nip it. Put the next one on. Just nip it. Now this tool for me has actually made it really easy for me to be able to film this because I've done the whole thing basically one-handed. So that's good. Then we're just nipping and we'll add a bit more pressure. And that's enough for us to be able to lower it down onto the ground. Because again, too much pressure. I don't know whether you can see that. The whole vehicle is currently moving. We don't want to do too much, and then we're just going to wind the jack down. There we go. So we're going to want to tighten these a bit more. Now, because I work on cars all the time, I can tell how tight feels right. If you're not sure, then out on the side of caution and over tighten them because you do not want your wheel falling off. So for those of you that aren't as strong, just a simple press down with your foot like that on each one will make sure that they're definitely tight enough to get you to your destination so that you can get the, uh, get the original tire swapped over properly. See, I'm not having to put loads of force into it with my foot, just a little Press down like that, and I'm just happy that they're nice and tight. So you can see there, that the the tire is a bit flat itself. So I'm just going to need to get to the petrol station and get that pumped up, and then I can do the the seven or eight mile drive to my unit and get it sorted. But you will notice on here it's saying max speed 50 miles per hour. That's for a reason, um, and you shouldn't be travelling too far on these. Um, I don't know the exact recommended distance, but basically it's designed to get you to the nearest garage so that you can get that tire sorted, which is what I'm doing. I'm getting it to my garage so I can swap them over. So anyway, I hope that's been useful for you. Regular viewers of the channel, it might be interesting for you to see that, you know, I'm the same as the rest of you. Stuff like this happens to me as well. Uh, if you're watching this because you've been in an emergency, I hope this has helped uh, get to safety. Uh, if it has, hit subscribe for more useful content. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.